Now, the thing is with the three wish analogy, it's pretty cool. You take three things that you want. So let's say if it's a woman looking for a man, she chooses, she wants him to be six feet or taller. She wants him to make over $100,000 a year. And she wants him to be their political part, let's say Democrat. Now, if we just take 100 men, for example, in a room and put them in the room with this woman, if she says he needs to be over six feet, that's 20% of the American population, meaning just off that, there's only 20 men already left in the room. Now, when it comes to earning, only about 10% of people, let alone men or women, make over six figures, 100,000 in America. So now you can just say there's only about 10 men left. Now, let's say Democrat, Republican, let's call that 50-50. So half a 10, there's only five men left. And that's being very optimistic. And the thing is, we haven't even taken consideration. Do you think that they are funny? Do you think that they're attractive physically? Those type of things. You think they have good character traits? And also on top of that, they have to like you back. So the thing is, we make these standards, these rules, but you don't realize how small it makes our dating pool. Now, it's not so you can't have preferences, but Dr. Tashiro's work looks at what preferences or personality traits really matter. Now, what Dr. Tashiro found was one of the biggest personality traits you should look for when it comes to finding a sustainable, lasting partner is agreeableness. Now, there's something called the Big Five Factor Personality Model, and there's five different traits. There's openness to experience, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. Now, agreeableness tends to be people who work well and cooperate well in groups or with others. They're not going to be too argumentative. This doesn't mean necessarily they're a pushover, but they're going to open up their mind to what you may have to say. Now you can see in a marriage or a romantic relationship how this could be very important. Now the problem with agreeableness, especially when it's in men, is often seen as the nice guy. You ever heard the term, nice guys finish last? Well, this is where this derives from. Now this person may not be the sexiest on paper, he may not woo you at your seat, but he is gonna be there long term. He's gonna to cater to your needs from a romantic standpoint and other aspects. And this is important because if you want a relationship to last, you have to be able to give and take. People talk about compromise all the time in relationships, but the agreeable person is gonna be this person. Now, someone who's high on neuroticism, this is a person who's more worrisome, they get more anxious, uh, things that are not in their control, they have issues, especially if their partner is low on neuroticism because they're going to be envious of why aren't you worried? Why aren't you stressed? And this is going to ruin and hinder the relationship. Now you can see these different traits.